walking up the country, he was in cabin, and he rang at half past three, and he said he'd be half an hour late. And that was for half past seven. That is ferocious dedication. Another man had a bad injury. He looked as if he was going to be out for six weeks. He came home, he iced it, and he set the clock for every hour that night to get up and ice it. That is ferocious dedication. And that is why we are here tonight. Um, another part of this team... <laughs> champions and we said we'd hope to come down here as county champions and we salute them on the 10th of September as NARCOC champions and I salute you tonight men as heroes yeah. 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 now what we want to do as well not to forget tonight it's a huge night for these people those are our sponsors because You've listened to it for the past two years, and the cost of it is huge. It's huge. Uh, nobody realizes how much money, except maybe Marcy and those close to him, the amount of money that's spent. And we need to do that. And we needed it to do it to win this county. But we wouldn't be able to do it without the help and the generosity of our sponsors. They've been absolutely brilliant with the past two years. I can only mention our main sponsor, the Village Inn, Chris and Mick O'Brien. I could go on for a half an hour with the rest, but some of them wouldn't want me to do that. But they know, looking down, looking up here, down there, they know who I'm talking about. And from the bottom of my heart, and from the bottom of everyone in the club's heart, and the players' heart, we thank you most sincerely. And we will not forget it. Thanks a million. Thank you. Before we go on, there has to be a leader on every team. And we had some great captains down through the years. And this year is no exception. I suppose he's one of the cooler guys of the team. He's not a guy that will stand up inside in a room and make a big bold speech. But he does tremendous work. He has a way about him that he can get through to players without doing that. He's been a tremendous captain all the year. A pleasure to work with him. And I'm delighted for himself and for his family. It's great for his family to be a captain of a county team. It must be fantastic. And I see tears in his father's eyes last night after he flying back from Barcelona for the game. And that's great to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain and a proud captain and a great captain, Kieran Rich. Thanks, Mick. I'm a bit hoarse. I won't keep you long. I think I'll come down with a cold or something. Um, I think Pat and Mick have summed it all up. Um, I'd like to thank the club as well, again. Um, they've been brilliant to us all year. They've given us everything we wanted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank the selection committee and the backroom team. The players for the effort they put in all year and for last year as well. I think we were kind of going from the start of last year. We'd only kind of a month off and just straight through, but it's worth it now. I'd like to thank our families on behalf of the players, our families, the girlfriends, some fiancés. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to thank all them as well. I'd like to thank our supporters, 
They've been brilliant, brilliant to us all, all year. Brilliant support. So thanks very much. I think someone said it to me, I think it was Marcy said it to me again earlier on, that this win, what this win does for the club, it brings on all these young lads down here in front of us. Because these young lads now know that there's county champions in the place and they'll be able to set themselves up as examples for them. So I would encourage, I would certainly encourage these lads to keep playing, but I would encourage also the players who have finished their careers, the players who have maybe got a lot out of the game, I would ask them at the start of the end of this year, the start of the next season, please come in and get involved with the juveniles. It's a most rewarding exercise. Give some bit of your time and help out the lads who are trying desperately to try and keep it going. It's a tough job, a lot of travelling, a lot of matches, but it's so rewarding. And you are the guys that can do it, the guys that played, that played down through the years and got that little bit out of it. Give a small bit back and get involved. Get involved with these lads next year. Finally tonight, finally tonight, we are not finished. This is only the second leg, right? We have the county title won now, but we are not finished. There's a monster title to be won next, and that's our aim. So towards the end of November is our next date. It will be against either Warford or the Clare champions. And we'll... <laughs> Once we get this week out of the way, we have a league final, uh, Division 3 league final today, next Sunday, and a semi-final on Saturday, and a semi-final on Sunday. We'll get through those, and we'll settle down again, and Pat, we'll get them out in the field again, and we'll rig up lights, or whatever we have to do, we'll get them going again. And we'll take the next round, the first round of the Monster semi-final, I think it is, Monster semi-final, yeah. We'll get ready for that, and hopefully, we'll be back again up here in this podium, maybe towards, certainly before Christmas, with another trophy. That's our wish, that's our vow, and we hope to keep it. So again, I want to thank the supporters, our supporters, as Pat has already done and Kieran has already done. You've been marvellous. Keep up, I think you know, keep up the, keep up the support. Keep us in mind, uh, everyone, and you know, people who maybe don't go to GA matches all the time, we've seen them at GA matches this year, and they have got an awful lot out of it. I won't mention anybody, but I know one man in particular, he has enjoyed the occasion. He has enjoyed the occasion last year and this year, and we're delighted to see him there. So, there's more people like that, we hope we've given entertainment. There's one more little thing. Back in 67, the late Christy Lucy penned the song for the county champions. And the only thing, I'm not going to sing it though. But the, the only thing, the only piece of it I remember is, the only piece that I remember was, a substitute was introduced and Manny was his name. That's the piece I remember. And of course we were talking about Patsy Manny. Because Patsy came on and scored a goal. Well, our retired, our retired schoolmaster, and the man that came back from Barcelona, and the father of the captain of the team, has put a few verses together for us tonight of a new song for this county final. So, Billy. I'm delighted to be up here tonight. Actually, when I arrived in Party Ring last night after making that long trip, I felt with the crowd that had arrived there that there was no fear of the lads. And as the match went on, 
I felt all the time that they would have that little bit extra at the finish. Thanks indeed to all of you. You are a brilliant team and I hope you do well in the rest of the thing for the year. So when I was out for the last few days, I said I'd sit down and start penning a little bit together. I thought at times last night I'd have to tear it and throw it away <laughs> and not open it. And uh, I want you to be involved in it tonight because there's a very difficult chorus to this song. And I'll start with that first and you can join in with me. And the chorus is simply la 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 And now we'll start and we'll get going. And I hope we'll be able to go down through the hole. We are the stars from Kilworth. We're the best team in the land. For holding class and stamina, we are a mighty band. We set our standard high this year to win the county cup. Last night we did the business and we're proud to hold it up. La 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 We waited 39 long years for this historic night. And weren't they a revelation playing on the light? They ran and chased and hurried as they've done throughout the year. And put their bodies on the line with very little fear. La 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 in goal was Captain Keir and he was leader of the pack. Protected by three stalwarts, Kenny, Hagerty and Mac. The half-line crafty Morris, mighty Will and Super Mark. And Elton and Dion to control the centre of the pack. La 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 and as we move up forward, we had Tomo on the right, with Tuner in the centre, who gave every team a fight. On the left, we had Joe Castle, who had all the silent grace, and this fire kept the slitter moving forward at great pace. La 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 Inside in the full forward line, we'd hold us to the core. With Paddy, Eddie, Ginger, who us the mighty score. They tormented every team they made from early in the year. And when they scored some classic goals, there was a mighty cheer. La 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 Congrats to all the players, subs and management alike. And all to the psychologists who had their upstairs right. And when they carry on the journey to, to achieve another goal, remember we're behind you as you travel on the road. La 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 la